Good evening and welcome to the first ever online Highlander Band Awards ceremony. This is an unusual circumstance for all of us. And uh, if things freeze while we're on the screen tonight, just be patient. We'll get back to you as quick as we can. Um, in, in this time where we've all been concentrating on what we've lost in the last several months, I wanted to remind you of what you accomplished. That's really what tonight is about. This is a celebration of what you accomplished as a band, as individuals, um, the, the kind of things that you just uh, achieved, your distinctions. This should be a celebration. And to get that going, I, I went out back this morning and made a list of all the things that you won back in the fall, because I think by now we've probably all forgotten about it. Your first show this year was at the Pequonic mm -hmm. Contest. You wound up second overall with a score of 81.9, and you won first place in individual music, overall effect, color guard, and percussion. Our next show was the Yamaha Cup. You were second overall with a score, to, score of 83.9, and we uh, won music effect. At Mount Olive, that was our first, first place win with an 87.8. And you won individual music, visual, overall effect, guard, percussion, and first place in 5A. At Ridge, you also won first place with a score of 88.4. And you won ensemble music, visual, uh, color guard, and percussion. At States, you were second overall, but still won effect and percussion and had a score of 89.5. And at nationals, we were second overall with a score of 95.1 and Color Guard won first place. So it was really a wonderful year and a, a terrific fall season for us. And concert bands had had a wonderful winter concert. It was re a year of really nice achievements. And that's what we want to celebrate tonight. Now, one of our biggest supporters for the Highlander Band program is Mr. John Barno. He is our supervisor of uh, music and a lot of other stuff for the high school and um, is just unwavering in his support for you as students and for us as a band program. So I'd like to turn the uh, spotlight over to Mr. Barno, and he's got a few comments. Good evening. I just want to thank Dr. Mack and Mr. Gramada for inviting me to uh, be a part of tonight's uh, celebration. Um, it's just really a joy to be with all. I, I commend uh, Mr. Gramada and Dr. Mack and his staff for putting this event together so that you can do uh, indeed what he had talked about, and that is celebrate the accomplishments of this year. Um, looking back on this year, one of my favorite memories uh, for a long time will be standing out in the mist on the night of states. And uh, you remember it was a rainy kind of misty kind of night and uh, it was just an amazing night being on the on the on the on the ground on the on the track right there and seeing everything right there and seeing the the looks and expressions on your faces as in the intensity and in what you were doing, um, and that really um, was uh, the measure of this fall season for me. And uh, I was just so proud of you. I didn't care whether you won or lost. Well, of course, I cared, but I was just so proud of what you had done and knew that uh, you had given everything you had to give that night. And that was to your credit. Um, this year has been really an amazing year, despite the, the sudden ending. Um, and uh, as Dr. Mack alluded to, we can't lose sight of that. Um, we had some amazing seasons for indoor percussion. Indoor, indoor guard was doing a tremendous job with an absolutely gorgeous show. Uh, we had a jazz band for the first time as the top seed going into state finals, uh, and the list goes on of students that were in area band, region, all state, et cetera. So uh, let me address you students right now and just say that one of the best parts of my job is being able to come to things that you are performing in and to be proud of you and to see the hard work uh, and the, and the uh, achievement, uh, the, the, the attitude of achievement that you express in your performance. And if I may finally just say to the parents, uh, parents, band parents, uh, the West Milford Band Parents is one of the finest organizations uh, I've ever had the pleasure of being a part of. And I'm proud of every one of you. And I thank you for all of the support and the work and uh, all of the energy uh, that you put into your children's program. And I'm, I'm proud to be associated uh, with the Highlander Band. So enjoy this night. 
Um, use it for what it is to celebrate what you've accomplished. Seniors, as you go off to uh, college and on to life, I hope you'll look back on this as some of the best years of your life and some of the best experiences. And uh, we just congratulate you all that you have done. So at this time, I turn it over to Mr. Smolinski and Mrs. Smolinski, and they'll be giving out Pipe and Drums Awards. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we wanna start off by thanking the district administrative leadership, the Board of Education, all of the band parents, the music staff, uh, and most importantly, all of the Highlander band members. Uh, to all the other students, guys, without your support, the Pipes and Drums would not be able to do what it does within our program. We wanna take this time to commend all the members of the Pipes and Drums on having a year that was shorter than hoped, uh, but it truly was a meaningful and musical experience. <clears throat> You all put in extra rehearsals, learning new music and drill routines to produce a professional entertaining ensemble. And you should all be very proud of that. Your representation of the school in our community at parades, concerts, and even local scooter bowls is something that is truly unique to our district. You should take enormous pride in knowing that you were part of something that you find jo many find joy in, but not all got the opportunity to experience in the same way that you did. Mrs. Smolinski and I both agree that our proudest moment was to see you on stage at the Newton Theater with the Red Hot Chili Pipers, though I have to confess that I still get emotional when I hear you all playing Scott and the Brave heading up to the field at a football game. At this time, we would like to acknowledge the members of the ensemble for the 2019-2020 season. Our pipers are Pipe Major Yuri Anantasem, Pipe Sergeant Kasha Ashahovsky, Pipe Corporal Aaron Timmons, Sean Rodriguez, Haley Lindstrom, Madison Babcock, Olivia O'Mahony, Julia Dan, Ava Murphy, Shane Cooper, and Cadet Matthew Winkins. Our drummers are lead snare drummer Sam Loritano, Gabrielle Tavares, Trevor Darnstead, John Riley, Joshua DeGraff, Lead tenor Lancy Zhang, Catherine Scott, Gustav Lindstrom, Sean Partington, and Catherine Garcia. Guys, you had an awesome year, and you should all be very proud of what you accomplished together. This next award is for our most improved player, Julia Dan. The improvements made, Julia Dan, uh, the improvements that you made from the beginning of the year. Uh, were above and beyond. You came from a very long way uh, from a beginning player, and we are proud to acknowledge that uh, not only the improvements you made musically throughout the year, but at the end of the year, as we've been in this lockdown, you've been going throughout the West Milford community to play for uh, various people and at different places to raise the spirits of that community. And we're very proud of your musical growth and look forward to your future within the pipe band. So congratulations to most improved piper, uh, Julia Dan. At this time, we'd like to take a moment to recognize two students who've gone above and beyond their duties as members of our ensemble. These two pipers dedicated their time after school on a weekly basis to assist us in instructing the Macapin Middle School Bagpipe Club. Their efforts to assist us allow for the continued growth of, growth of the pipes and drums and promote a lasting tradition that we treasure so dearly here in the Highlander Band. I'd like to recognize Ms. Haley Lindstrom and Ms. Erin Timmons. Mr. Smolinski and I sincerely thank you both for your dedication to the future of this ensemble. Next, we'd like to acknowledge our senior members. Yuri Anantasub, Sean Rodriguez, Sam Loritano, and Lancy Zhang. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and we hope that you will continue to find joy in piping and drumming. We know this was not the end of the year we all were hoping for, but please know that you have all made a profound impact on our band, and you will be truly missed. We have a small token of thanks and congratulations for your graduation. We will present it to you when we are able to meet in person in the near future. Congratulations and best of luck. And now we would like to acknowledge our pipe band officers. 
Pipe Corporal Aaron Timmons, Pipe Sergeant Kasha Ashahovsky, Lead Drummer Sam Loritano, and Pipe Major Yuri Anantasub. These four uh, I regularly go above and beyond in planning events, helping us running the rehearsals, helping to rally the band in preparation for performances. And frankly, without you guys, our success would simply not be possible. Um, they're able to communicate, well, I should say you guys are able to communicate with other members of the pipe band in a way that the two of us simply cannot. And you are truly the binding element of the music and spirit of the pipes and drums. And we just want to say thank you to our leaders and to all of our students for working hard for all of your efforts behind the scenes that you do to help make our performances the best that they could be. And, you know, what, what, does, what you don't get enough credit for being available at the drop of a hat. So thank you to our officers for helping us make this year uh, a great success. Now we would like to introduce Pipe Major Yuri Anantasub, who would like to say a few words. Good evening, everyone. As someone who is in multiple ensembles, if I could, I would love to individually thank every instructor who has supported me throughout my band career and talk about how great the ensembles are but it would take me about two or three hours and I know we don't have that much time. So I'm gonna try to keep it short. About six years ago, I was sitting in the bleachers at my first tattoo concert, not knowing what it's like to belong in a group where strangers can quickly turn into family members. The only thing I knew was that I was inspired. I found an old Facebook post that I wrote to the Highlanders at the time. And although it was kind of embarrassing, I'm going to read part of it to you. I wish to be that person who can outstandingly play that solo in the spotlight. I wish to be that person leading the bagpipers. I wish to be as great as you guys are. Every time I see the band practicing in the parking lot and every time I see the band playing in the field, something inside of me wants to scream my heart out. I want to be a part of this band. No, I meant, I must be a part of this band. Thanks Highlanders for inspiring me. I should pride a future alto saxophonist and bagpiper of the Westmanford Highlander Band. Six years later, it still feels unreal to me how quickly my four years in the band went by, how I actually became a soloist for multiple ensembles, how I'm here representing the pipes and drums as the pipe major, or as I called it, that person leading the bagpipers, hoping that I inspired others the same way that they inspired me. As unlucky as it was that our senior year got cut short, that we don't get to march on our last parades or have our last picnic at West Point, I think, hey, at least we got to perform with the Red Hot Chili Pipers this year, and that's pretty awesome, for once in a lifetime experience. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Smolinski, for countless opportunities and for being extremely supportive ever since the day I joined Macapin Bad Pipe Club. Thank you to everyone in Pipes and Drums for giving me so many fun memories that I will always remember. I wish you all the best of luck in your future seasons and I'm going to miss all of you. Eyes always with pride. This concludes the awards for the Highlander Pipes and Drums. Thank you all for a meaningful year. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. Now we'd like to introduce <laughs> Now we'd like to introduce Mr. Gramada for the Jazz Awards. <laughs> I subscribed and clicked the bell as well. All right. Uh, good evening, parents and students, um, and, and welcome to this you know, virtual awards recognition ceremony. We know it's been a very, very trying year, and I know for seniors, you know, graduations have been canceled, and for many of the other kids, concerts and awards have been postponed or lost or not even been able to have been achieved. Uh, trust me, I, I understand how you feel. Um, you know, my wedding is postponed. And so if anybody can sympathize, it's, it's definitely me. Um, so I'm here today to uh, represent the jazz ensembles and uh, give some awards and recognize some students on behalf of both jazz ensembles this year. We had two groups, the jazz band, and the jazz ensemble. The first group I'd like to recognize is the jazz band, which met after school on Mondays and Wednesdays. 
This was a smaller group, more so kind of like a jazz lab ensemble. And the main focus was mostly on improvisation. And I'll have to say that uh, this group of students was extremely eager to participate, practice, and even more willing to work on improvisation than the jazz ensemble students. And I think that they'll always hold that over the jazz ensemble students' head. But I would like to run down the names of the students who participated in this group. And those students are Luke Gonzalez, Lucas McDonald, Aaron Hennigan, Josh Wojcik, George Stove, Catherine Garcia, Noah Amari, Trevor Darnstead, and my student leader for this group was Shane Duffy. I also had three of my Macapin students, uh, saxophone players who came up to play with this ensemble too, and that those students are Ava Murphy, Brennan Colton, and Colin Weischuk. I always recognize one student who has you know, done the most improving throughout the time that we had. Um, this student you know, was at rehearsals regularly and really took a big jump and step into working on improvisation and you know, developing some ideas and, and really just didn't shy away from things. So my most improved student for the jazz band is gonna be Mr. Luke Gonzalez. Before I get to the jazz ensemble, I would like to send a special thank you to Mr. Larry Silverman, who for those of you also uh, know as a, as a father of a former student of mine, uh, Alexis Silverman and former band director, uh, he's come in over and worked with my ensemble over the past, I would say seven years and really had done a great job with the rhythm section. And without him, I don't think that we could be where we are today. So I'd like to send a special shout out to Mr. Silverman and thank you for all that you've done. Now, moving on to the jazz ensemble, this was a very different year for this group in particular. Last year, we'd come off our fifth consecutive second place finish at state finals, and I graduated 12 seniors last year. In a group of 18 students, that's, that's a big, big, big number. So I didn't know what we were gonna get with this group this year. Um, this year, I had five freshmen, which was the most freshman I've ever had in this ensemble. I think the most I had was two. And so the group definitely um, took a whole new shape to what I've had in, in previous years. And we, but I still were gonna give them the most difficult rep. And they worked really, really, really hard to achieve the music that I gave them. At state prelims, they won best trombones. Mr. Shane Duffy and Mr. Ben McLaughlin won outstanding soloist awards. And following the preliminary round, which was five days in five different locations around the state of New Jersey, the West Milford High School Jazz Ensemble was seated in the number one slot going into state finals and would have had the last uh, performance spot of that. So I definitely know in my heart of hearts that this would have been a year that this ensemble could have taken first place in that festival. So with that being said, I'd like to run down the names of the students that were involved in the West Milford High School Jazz Ensemble. AJ Jelanik on flute, Yuri Anantasub and Colin Keller on alto sax, Catherine Scutt and Jordan Keller on tenor sax, Mr. Ryan Starr on baritone sax. The trumpet section included Cameron DeLuca, Aaron Timmons, Mike Briganti, Erica Martin, and Mark Sadlow. The trombone section consisted of Declan Wallace, John Setford, Catherine Garcia, and Ben McLaughlin. And the rhythm section, Mr. Shane Duffy, Jimmy Murray, Evan Reddle, Devin Colfax, Trevor Darnstead, and Sarah Chmielewski. A couple special awards and recognitions I'd like to give out amongst these students. Uh, first, I'm gonna go and talk about some soloist awards I'd like to give out. The first student to receive a soloist award is Miss Yuri Anantasub. Funny story with her, um, bef the rehearsal before state jazz prelims, we had to make a quick audible. And I asked Yuri, Yuri, you know, we have state prelims on Monday. This was on Wednesday. Can you take a solo? And she was like, of course. She did a great blues solo in our opener. And I can't thank her enough. Uh, she's been a fantastic, fantastic student an alto sax player and even tenor sax player in one year uh, through these years. And I'm so excited to see her move on to college and the next level. 
The next student to receive a soloist award is Mr. Shane Duffy. Shane Duffy is no stranger to the soloist award platform. Uh, this year, instead of being an honorable mention award winner, he actually won one of the four soloist awards at state prelims. And that was a prelims that included uh, Newark Academy. So Shane uh, played an amazing bass solo, acoustic bass solo in our opener and uh, was well-deserved. Next soloist award goes to Mr. Ryan Starr, new to the group. Uh, the opener, for some reason, called to me to have a Barry Sack solo. And so Ryan has never played a solo before. And he was, you know, reluctantly up to it. But, you know, we worked really hard together. He practiced a lot. And he really, like, laid that solo down. And so, Ryan, I'm really proud of you. And um, I hope that you're experiencing this group for one year and you're shining moment as a soloist really uh, will last a lifetime. The next soloist award will go to Mr. Declan Wallace. Hey, Declan Wallace had solos in two songs. Declan's a great trombone player who's continuing to grow. And as only a sophomore, you'll be definitely seeing more of him in the next two years. And finally, Miss Erin Timmons, the last soloist award. And Erin has probably been one of the most improved players in this ensemble. Um, stepping out in the spotlight, especially in the opener, as it's really a trumpet feature. And uh, throughout the time that we've worked together, uh, her skills and power and, and musicality and even how she's phrasing has just come so far. So congratulations to Erin. The next recognition I'd like to give is the recognition of achievement in jazz. And this is to Mr. Cameron DeLuca. Cameron has been a part of this group for a while now. And although not ever in the solo spotlight, and that's usually the job of a lead trumpet player, I always feel that an ensemble is characterized, and especially like a one of the top tier ensembles is characterized by a few components. One is your lead trumpet player, and two is your rhythm section. Cameron's been a great lead trumpet player and has really defined the sound of this ensemble. And I'm excited to see him move on to the next level. I really do hope that he continues to play in whatever capacity that is. Um, always the student that comes up to me with ideas of songs to play and even brought one up this year that was absolutely insane, but we gave it a try. And hopefully at some point, Cameron, you'll be able to pull that Wayne Bergeron uh, tune out in your own performance. So Cameron, congratulations and thank you. The next one I always like to do, and this will be a quick one, is our best section this year. I don't think uh, there's much surprise. Our best section was the trombone section just all killer players. Catherine Garcia came in there and it was just like she's played in that group for four years. Um, and they also won best trombone section of state prelims. So congratulations to the trombone section. I will always do a most improved player. There were a lot of, impro of improvement going throughout the entire ensemble. Um, honorary mentions for me, uh, Erica Martin just grew so much as a trumpet player this year. Aaron Timmons, as I said, grew so much as a trumpet player. Jordan Keller is another one. But for me, I think that the most improved player has to be uh, on piano, Mr. Evan Reddle, who before being in this group had played piano for, I believe, two or three months prior. And State Prelims was his first ever performance in public on piano. And throughout the, the time that we've had in jazz has gotten so much better and so much more comfortable on the piano. And I only know he's going to just continue to improve and develop, and he's going to be a really great player. So Mr. Evan Reddle is our most improved player. Two more for me. Um, most valuable player, the MVP. Um, I do say that, you know, there are certain instruments in the ensemble that are, you know, define the characteristics of a great band. But there's one instrument that is probably the most important. And this student definitely is the engine behind this ensemble, um, super talented. I only can imagine where this person is going to go in the near future. My most valuable player is Shane Duffy. And then last but not least, I always have a the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. This award goes to uh, Outstanding Achievement in Jazz. Um, this is gonna go to a student who did not want to do jazz when he was a freshman, and I will always hold that over his head always. Um, he has grown to be a monster, monster, monster player, and someone that whenever you hear the word West Milford Jazz Ensemble, a lot of students from other schools think of him. This year, 
uncharacteristically of most jazz pieces, we turned a trombone feature into a bass trombone feature, which, you know, he played with such, you know, ease and skill and, and just beautiful musicality. And that was definitely awarded with his outstanding soloist award. I'm sure that if the season wasn't cut short, he would have just won trophy after trophy after trophy. Um, he's going to be attending Manhattan School of Music, where I hope at some point he plays in one of those amazing jazz ensembles that he has. So the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is going to go to Mr. Ben McLaughlin. That is it for the Jazz Awards. Again, students and parents, like I, I can't thank you enough for all the support that you've given, not only this program, but all the programs that we have here in the Highlander Band. You know, this is just a temporary thing. I, I know we don't have our ensembles right now, and we don't have, you know, each other in terms of being in the same place, but, you know, the silver lining of this is it's made us, under, made us understand what's really important, and that's our family, being with our friends, and we can continue to keep the music going even though we're not with each other. So once again, I thank everybody, jazz ensemble students, jazz band students, congratulations. And now I'm going to turn the program over to Mr. Monticelli and Mr. Leitner and the percussion. Excuse me, that's Mr. Shaver and Ms. O'Shea with the color guard. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Uh, first, I'd like to start off with um, a big thanks to the school administrators for their support, um, Mr. Stryans and Mr. Citro for their partnership because we do take students from the Macapin into the Color Guard and the high school support has been amazing. Um, John, Mr. John Barno for being the best supervisor ever. Um, he has been an awesome support factor for us and also a big fan. So we always look to, to see him in his color guard sweatshirt at the shows and it's really amazing to see him. Um, I'd like to also thank all the band and choir teachers for their help, especially um, Ms. McPartland and Ms. Kaxer for their assistance and recruitment help. At this point, I'd like to take a little bit of a uh, announcement here, a little plug here. We are still looking for guard members. So please email if you're with your response to peter.shaver at wmtps.org. And if you are a member already, please just make sure you get your, your forms and your physicals in. If there is a, a seventh grader or an eighth grader out there that would like to try Color Guard, there is an opportunity for that person to be part of it. So also if it's a band member who um, is an eighth grade band member who would like to try it or seventh grade, that would be awesome. We'd love to have you in it. And just again, email me with your interest and I'll get back to you. I'd like to also a special thanks to Elaine and Bob Woodcock and the Anella clan for their dedication and heart behind the scenes. They're always willing to help no matter what. I'd like to acknowledge Cindy Gazda for her magical snowmaking abilities and sparkle that she gives to the group. Uh, thanks to the Gas family, uh, Kathleen Bednar and all the other parents who help us during, during the season and also to the band parents and, and the, the crew on the field 
for all the color guard equipment that we had laid out across the entire field during the competitions, we do thank you. And it's been such a big help. And I also have an incredible group of, of staff and helpers that come and help out with the color guard. Um, I'd like a big shout out to Casey McCoy for his artistry and dedication. He does an amazing job and we, we thank him so much. Arilla Card for her organizing skills and her big heart. And she's always there to lend a hand. And we also have uh, Emily Janesco, who was who graduated last year for her makeup designs and her assistance. Sophia, Saran, Trish, and all other helpers, helpers that have come in to make the program be amazing. This year, our Full Guard was truly amazing. This small group of talented individuals fought hard, won many first place Guard Awards, and the 2019 U.S. Bands Group 5A Best Color Guard for the fourth year in a row at Nationals. That was 2016, 17, 18, and 19. Awesome job. The Color Guard is a family group, you know, with its ups and downs that understands hard work, dedication to the team and the commitment towards excellence. It is more than just showing up, but preparing to be the best one could be. And I'm so proud of each and every one of you. And since we are not in a banquet hall and things are closed, we have some props, so I, I really don't have things to give to you at this moment, but in the future I will. So I'm just sharing you flowers from my garden, so each one of you get a flower. There you go. Um, certificates, you will get certificates for your hard work and dedication, as also some photos. And uh, I'd like to say, just say a little bit of something about each, each person and something that they bring to the program. Like I said, we have some Mackman students and high school students. Um, I'll start with Rachel Cawley. It's her, it was her once first season um, for outdoor. And she, uh, she brought laughter and was fun loving and really brought a lot of energy to the program. We really appreciate that. Eileen Gass, the big smile that could be seen for miles and she's very kind. We have Emily Simbrick. Eileen and Emily were two years. Uh, Emily is a great dancer with, and a strong performer. Okay, then we go to our junior as we jump over. Mario Esposito has a quick wit and guard comedian. Kayla Sierra, she is patient and helpful to all members and is always willing to help. Michaela Gazda, amazing dance soloist an extremely patient teacher who has helped many of the students in the color guard. And we have Althea Di Benedetto, our, one of our seniors. Althea is one of the nicest people you could ever meet. She also has the biggest appetite. So we're, we're gonna see her on the Food Network as a chef in the future. Um, Tiffany Anella, dedicated, hardworking, a big heart and an awesome leader. And I am so proud of each, each and every single one of them. I'd like to say a little bit about um, my seniors, my two seniors. So Althea always smiles and always hungry. She was our swing flag queen. She loved her swing flag. She loves to ski and cook. And again, we're gonna probably see her on the Food Network with her own special, because she is an amazing chef. So we wish her the best of luck as, as she goes forward in, into her, her future uh, schooling. Then we have Tiffany and Ella. Tiffany and Alfie are both five-year members. They started as eighth graders. Tiffany, amazing captain. I've seen her grow mature during the last five, five years into an amazing young lady. We're worried that she didn't have a weapon line last year because we graduated a lot of, a lot of students. A lot of seniors who were strong. She took it upon herself to run captain classes at the end of the school year for weapons, and it really paid off. She ran at the end of the year to train for the following season, and her efforts paid off because we use those skills in the fall with every member spinning rifle, saber, flag, and all of the, all of the above. <laughs> um, you may not know this, but she's also a talented photographer. She's an amazing person and leader. We are going to miss her dearly, and we really wish her the best in the future. 
And I'm just going to conclude with saying, at this point, we are giving the award for the best color guard, the most outstanding color guard member to, and I have my prop. This is not the actual one. The outstanding color guard member of the year is Tiffany Anella. And we thank her so much. She has been amazing and we're so proud. We're so proud of each and every one of the color guard members for having a great season and working hard and showing that a small group of people, so people, such a small group of people can compete against these color guards of 30 and 40. And we ended up doing extremely well. So it's all about talent, perseverance, hard work and dedication. And again, I'm extremely proud. And at this moment, I'm gonna turn this next section over to Ms. Trisha Shea for the Indoor Award. Good evening, everyone. I'm here to talk about the West Milford Indoor Color Guard in 2020. When the season ended so abruptly, I put up a post online in which I noted how much this group went through during the course of this short but bittersweet season. They went through much more than any high school kids could ever be asked to go through. Starting with a snowstorm, the only real snowstorm of the winter, on the day of our home show, the main preview show, we managed to pull it off somehow, but sadly, the profits weren't what we hoped for. Along the way, there was illness, membership changes, show changes, figuring out how to set up an endless amount of umbrellas with a few hands, but these six young ladies never gave up. It all ended with a pandemic. We sat and watched during the second week of March as hour by hour, day by day, events got canceled one by one until finally they ran out of events to cancel. Our season was over. It ended with a Wednesday night run through. No costumes, no crowd, or no fanfare. But we certainly found a way to make each and every moment we had together count. We managed to win our first three shows, including the WGI Philadelphia Regional, which that very put us in the top 10 in the country. We were also finalists at the WGI South Brunswick Regional, and the season, although short, was yet another rousing success. I'd like to thank my staff mates. Mr. Shaver, we made every moment we had with you count. Casey, Rill, Emily, Cassie, and of course, Megan, you all made unbelievable sacrifices for these kids, and your love for these kids and this program shows. And to our design team, led by John Lemire, we thank you for every color of that beautiful rainbow. To the crew and the parents who made lunches and regional breakfasts, carried on props, some returning even after graduation, glued rhinestones, worked at the preview show, <coughs> sold for and produced an ad book, collected clothing and other fundraisers, your efforts did not go unnoticed, and we appreciate it. And to the six girls who make up the West Milford Indoor Color Guard in 2020, and I will recognize them individually, never stop looking for that rainbow because someday it really will be all right. First year member, Anastasia Hamlin. Two year members, Rachel Cawley and Eileen Gass. Three year members, Kayla Sierra, and Michaela Gazda, and our first ever five-year member and graduating senior, Tiffany Inella. We recognize you for your leadership, your dedication, your talents, and we are thankful that you shared all of that with us. In addition, 
the Musical Arts Conference decided to take the medals that would have been awarded to the first, second, and third place units at their championships and dedicate those to the seniors who didn't get that one last championship. So Tiffany, we present you with this senior award from the Musical Arts Conference. And now I would like to turn it over to our leadership in the West Milford Indoor Color Guard, Tiffany Inella, Kayla Sierra, and Michaela Gazda. We wanted to start out by saying thank you to our two amazing teams this year. Though there were a few ups and downs, we were always able to push through and bounce back. They are all hardworking, devoted, and talented individuals who always put their heart into their performances. Thank you for never giving up and making this a great year. Outdoor and indoor may seem very different, but the determination and will is the same within both. Having two really strong and experienced groups this year was truly amazing. Though we may be in small numbers, these teams took up all the space with their emotion and performance. Thank you guys for always putting in 110% into your performances and pushing through all the obstacles this year. We would also we also wanted to thank our amazing staff and instructors. Without them, none of this would be possible. Thank you guys for all the support and effort you continuously put into this group. Special thanks to Shaver as well. Even though he couldn't always be there at rehearsals this year, he still made I <laughs> sorry. He still made it a point to come and see our shows and not to mention all the other stuff he was able to do for us, even though he wasn't always there and for our instructors who were always there for us. And again, thank you to all the, yeah, sorry, who stepped and thank you to all, all the other instructors who stepped it up this year to create this beautiful performance. Thank you, ladies. And at this time, we would like to turn it over to Mr. Leitner and Mr. Monticelli for their indoor percussion. Hello, hello everyone. Um, thanks for joining us tonight uh, to celebrate an amazing year for all the ensembles uh, that are part of the Highlander Band program. Um, it certainly has been a, a crazy end to the season, but um, it certainly has been a memorable one, even though it was it was short. Um, indoor percussion, um, where we meet uh, we meet every winter and we compete in uh, both U.S. bands and WGI locally and nationally, and um, we put on um, a pretty interesting performance that combines both the things we see in marching band as well as elements of, of, of theater art. And it creates a really interesting environment. The kids, um, they really take to some new skills and they really put on wonderful performances. And we're very, very lucky to have such dedicated students. Um, and we, and Matt, you could talk about our, our season. Sorry, terrible transition. So our 2020 program uh, was entitled Happier. You should the, uh, the, the main point of the show was that we're all forced to program to wear a mask to try to hide how we're really feeling. And the show does a really great job of exploring how to fight past that and show off how you're, how you're really feeling. Um, and though competitively the season was cut short, uh, we were only able to go out and compete twice. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable saying that the group was off to probably the strongest competitive start that we'd had in, in our time with the program. Uh, we had one U.S. band show, our home competition, where uh, our indoor percussion group came away with the highest score of the night and first place. Uh, and at the Trumbull WGI Regional in Connecticut, uh, for the first time in our several years of attending the event, the group was able to uh, earn a spot in finals and our highest placement uh, that we've ever had there. Yeah. Um the success of our program, uh, it would not be possible without a supportive administration, our incredible colleagues and enthusiastic parents. Um, 
we want to start by thanking Dr. Animom and, and Mr. Stryance, uh for their continued support of our program. Uh, Mr. John Barno for always encouraging us and providing us with what we need to have a successful season. Um, Mr. Joe Trentacosta for making our rehearsals possible by always finding a space for us, even when the building is at maximum capacity. Uh, Dean Monty and the entire high school custodial staff for their help during our rehearsals and at the home show. Um, to our colleagues, Dr. Brian McLaughlin, Mac Ramada, Joe Smolinski, Christy Smolinski, Peter Shaver, Trish O'Shea, Arilla Card, Casey McCoy, uh, for always cheering us on, offering wisdom, and being great friends. Uh, to Erica McPartland and Matt Pacione, uh, thanks for laying down a great foundation for our percussion students so they come into our ensemble with the knowledge to be successful at the next level. Um, to the band parent executive board, uh, Lorraine Kerwin, Darren Scott, Tammy Sianke, Meg Devine, and Mike Briganti, uh, thank you for your countless, the, the countless ways you support our program. Um, everything from organizing merchandise orders to the U.S. Band Home Show, which is never easy, especially uh, when having to work with U.S. Band staff and everything in between. Uh, we are so lucky to have a parent organization as uh, dedicated uh, and as interested in the success of our program as you are. Um, we're also very fortunate to have uh, the support of so many amazing parents who dedicated countless hours to uh, building props, loading the truck, uh, a delicious marathon lunch, and running the indoor show, organizing fundraisers, and so much more. Um, Don and Savon Partington, John and Laura Lartano, Mike Briganti, Carrie Olant, Annette Omahni, Laura Martin, Mary Duffy, Stacy and Ron Schneider, Debbie Rodas, Melissa Pritchett, Robin Homer, Joanna Riley, Dawn and Darren Scott, and to every other family that donated time and resources to help West Milford Percussion. Uh, we can't thank you enough. Um, I also would be remiss if we didn't give a special thank you to uh, John Loritano. Uh, John spearheaded our home show planning and took a lot of the more stressful work away from the staff so we could spend more time teaching and less time worrying. Uh, as a four-year eight season percussion parent, uh, John and Laura Loritano, they've supported West Milford Percussion for a long time and in countless ways. Uh, thank you for everything you have done for us over the years and we will miss you dearly. Uh, and last but not least, we must thank our amazing instructional staff. Um, Roman Trujillo, he is our uh, battery coordinator and he helped bring our drum line to the next level. Um, Lindsay Walsh, who year after year produces one of the top symbol lines in US bands and WGI with phenomenal writing and creativity. Uh, Rich DeAndre and Jake Breitfeller, uh, they were down in the trenches at every rehearsal working with the drummers on refining technique and making sure that everything was absolutely perfect on the floor. Uh, Julie Keefe, who for years now has elevated the front ensemble to new heights with her expertise. Uh, Heather Trujillo, she's our choreographer. She wrote an amazingly haunting dance at the beginning of our show that it had everybody talking. Um, and lastly, of course, uh, it wouldn't be a band banquet unless we talked about uh, Bill Tierney, who unfortunately uh, was not able to be present much this year because our season was cut short. He was actually about to start coming to rehearsal the week it ended uh, so he can maintain his uh, his nickname of the ghost. And uh, But he is always, of course, an integral part of our design team. Uh, we'd also like to thank uh, the members of the group. Uh, you guys were extremely patient with Mr. Monticelli and I this year as we figured out what it took to run indoor percussion for the first time. So uh, thank you to you guys for that. Uh, now on to our recognition of all of our members. Uh, Madison Babcock, Michael Bergani, Chloe Cirillo, Oliver Crosby, Sierra Dages, Trevor Darnstead, Shane Duffy, Deanna Homer, Ryan Humble, Mason Knight, Riley Knight, Brenna Licardis, Aaron Lopez, Erica Martin, Lucas McDonald, Jimmy Murray, Ethan Noss, Olivia O'Mahony, Sean Partington, Joe Pritchett, Jack Riley, Maxwell Rodas, Liliana Sanchez, Julia Schneider, Michael Schiara, Gabrielle Tavares, and Aaron Timmons. Uh, in addition to those guys, we had five seniors in the group this year. And Though, unfortunately, guys, we didn't get to have the storybook ending that we were all hoping for with you guys. Uh, each and every one of you was an integral part of this ensemble. Uh, and I think we'd be remiss to not mention the impact that you guys had on us, on your fellow students, at, and on the program as a whole. 
uh, and those five seniors are uh, Sam Loritano, Sarah Chimileski, Veronica Sheck, Andre Milan, and Riley Colton. So thank you guys for your service to this group and you will be missed. And uh, as per tradition, um, to all of our seniors, you will be receiving a fan fantastic copy of a timeless classic, um, Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. So uh, be looking for that on your doorsteps uh, sometime soon. Um, <laughs> besides um, the staff and, and the membership and, and everybody else, it takes uh, even more to have a successful indoor percussion group. Um, great student leadership is truly the X factor in having a motivated and cohesive group. Uh, we are incredibly lucky to have a leadership team that went above and beyond to support West Milford percussion before, during, and after every rehearsal and every show. Um, so please uh, thank you to Madison Babcock, Sarah Chimileski, Trevor Darnstead, Shane Duffy, Riley Knight, Sam Loritano, Sean Partington, Julia Schneider, and Veronica Sheck. And to each of you, we would like to present a, um, a certificate for your achievement in leadership. Um, but it does not stop there uh, to our senior leaders. Uh, it takes, we ask even more of you. So we wanted to do something a little extra special. So we got you an even bigger certificate in an even bigger frame. So <laughs> thank you for all you do. And, um, and good luck to each of you at the next level. Our next, uh, our, I guess our first award, uh, we have four awards that we would like to give out tonight. Um, each to very, very deserving participants. Um, but our first year that we'd like to hand out is our first year member award. And um, this award is gonna go to somebody, um, what we looked for when we were deciding on who to award this to, because there were so, so many people who were deserving of this. Um, this person was an invaluable contributor to this ensemble. Um, as a first year member, it's very, very hard to make a statement, but this person came in on day one eager as anyone to just get going and, and make a difference in our production. And um, it was, they really, really worked hard because it, every time we performed on every single tape, even on visual tapes, people would comment about how good this person was on the floor, how much their sound contributed to the overall product. And it is my pleasure to give the outstanding first year member award to Mr. Jimmy Murray. The next award that we'll be handing out is our most improved member award. And this is for the member who demonstrates the most significant improvement throughout the whole season. Um, I can think of the very beginning of the year, uh, even dating back to marching band. And I wasn't quite sure that this member would be able to carry his drum around the floor. Uh, <laughs> there was some significant struggle. But with a, a lot of hard work, he became a really, really solid contributor and someone that I know that we'll be able to rely on year after year. Uh, he brings a great attitude, a lot of hard work, and we're really looking forward to what he's going to contribute. Uh, and our most improved member is Jack Riley. Uh, our next award is our Esprit de Corps Award. And this is for someone who serves the ensemble at an exceptionally high level uh, all of the time. And uh, this one, when Mr. Monticelli and I and the rest of the staff were discussing it, this one was a no brainer. Uh, in addition to the visual and musical demands, there's a level of energy that's required to be successful on the floor for indoor percussion. And a lot of the times, uh, you know, I've got to get out there and, and really, really drag that energy out of some people. Uh, but this person is someone who uh, might be the only person I've ever had to calm down because they always bring it. They have always brought it. If it's dance, movement, uh, moving, playing, marching, whatever it is, they're always on top of it. They're always going above and beyond before and after rehearsal to make sure that things are going smoothly. They're asking, what more can I do to help us? Uh, and they're, again, an extremely, extremely valuable member. We look forward to having them back in full capacity in the drum line next year. And that's Sean Partington. 
Uh, and our, our last award that we're going to hand out is our member of the year, uh, MVP, as you may call it. And uh, once again, when, when Mr. Monticelli and I sat down to talk about this, there's one person who really, really went above to, to help with getting this ensemble going with uh, a very, very young group in the fall to uh, another very inexperienced group when we started the, the winter season. And as our most seasoned veteran, this person did everything we could have asked for and so much more, always having a positive attitude, always working with any member that needed help in any facet. Um, and someone who, whose presence is going to be very, very difficult to replace on and off the floor. Yeah, uh, this person also had the, um, they, they had a very interesting situation. They went through three years of, of, of one type of drumline and they could have easily for their fourth year decided to totally check out. And instead of doing that, they decided to grab the bull by the horns and see how far this thing could go in one short year. And, and they really made the most of it. So it is our pleasure to award our member of the year award to Mr. Sam Loritano. And uh, with that, we'd like to bring in both Sam and Veronica Sheck, who have a few uh, remarks they'd like to make. Um, all right. Hi there. Um, I'm a senior member of the Percussion Ensemble. Um, Sam and I just wanted to take a few moments to highlight the amazing things that this program has done for us and also say thank you to the instructors for all the work and dedication they put towards this program every single year without fail. So with Mr. Monticelli's detailed writing of the percussion music, with Miss Keefe alongside him helping educate the front ensemble, as well as Mr. Trujillo's professional instruction of the battery, Mr. Leitner's impeccable, sorry, impeccable visual design, Ms. Walsh's articulate simple instruction, as well as countless other instructors who came in throughout the season to support us. The instructors always push us to be better at music and at everything else. And we took the time to come and make us <laughs> a better group. We want to say thank you and wish you the best of luck in the oncoming seasons. The percussion program is more than just a program. To us, it's a family. Music arts are so important and at the West Milford program, and the West Milford Percussion Program is a perfect example of why. Personally, I um, am a flute player. I play in the wind ensemble under the instructor, instruction of Dr. McLaughlin. And um, in middle school, I really enjoyed percussion, but I didn't know how to get into it. And I eventually um, found this program and I was able to learn all about the instrument. And that was a great outlet for me. Percussion provided me and so many others with a creative outlet when we felt lost. And because of this program, so many students have gained lifelong skills and memories. <laughs> from, um, from rehearsing and freezing temperatures to waking up at 5 a.m. to get to a show in Connecticut, we were all taught punctuality, perseverance, and respect. I have gained so many lifelong friends throughout this program, and the memories I've made and lessons I've learned will stay with me forever. I am so grateful that I can meet so many new people and share my love of music with others who felt the same way about it. We might all have been a part of different clubs and even sports, but indoor percussion gave us a way to unite as an ensemble and create a wonderful show. To the instructors, thank you so much for everything you've taught me and the other seniors. We will be sure to keep these lessons and memories alongside us as we venture into our futures. And to the underclassmen, the senior percussionists wish you the best of luck in the upcoming season. We love you and we hope you love and cherish this program as much as we did. This program has done so much for everyone that has come okay. through it. What? <laughs> it means so much to me and has really had such a positive effect on me. Probably my favorite memory from the whole thing was uh, Dayton, Ohio, and the world, performing at the World Championships. I performed, I got to spend so much time with my wonderful peers and got to see so many great groups perform. It was one of my best experiences I've ever done. This program has done so much for all of us over the years. It has affected us all positively, positively and brought us all so close together. It made us all better people and better at what we do. And the percussion is literally what made me want to pursue music going further in school. Again, just want to say thank you to all the directors for all that they've done for us. Thank you guys so much. And uh, now we would like to uh, turn it over to 
uh, Dr. McLaughlin and Mr. Gramada. Well, before we get into the uh, year awards, I did want to give a shout out to our executive board uh, from the band parents, President Lorraine Kerwin, Vice President Darren Scott, Treasurer Tammy Yankee, Corresponding Secretary Mike Brigani, and Recording Secretary Meg Devine. These folks have put in more hours than you can imagine behind the scenes, organizing, organizing other people, stepping into the gap when, when folks didn't show up and just doing an amazing job. And we could not have, have done any of this without you. The other group of people that we, we can't function without them is our equipment crew. And if we were in the, the uh, hall for our banquet, I would ask you all to stand up. So if you were in the equipment tree crew, just stand up where you are right now. And all of us will sort of think good thoughts. If you're there and your mom or dad stood up, giving them some applause and, uh, we just we're really thankful for the equipment crew and for the the building of our ice and maintaining of that. Um, one thing that's happened, kids that you don't know about, is that um, there were keychains made of sec little pieces of our ice surface. And there's one for all of you. And um, I believe the eighth is going to be the day that will be over at the school. Uh, to give you your awards that you're receiving tonight, you know, your plaques and, and that kind of stuff. We'll give those out to you. Um, but it's, it has been a tremendous year and I, for one, will never hear ice ice baby the same way again, without in my mind, picturing Sean Partington right down there in the front, going to town with the dance. That's, that's the site you're not likely to forget anytime soon. So our first year awards uh, these are the kids. This is their first year uh, in the ensemble. And I have to say that this has been a tremendously strong freshman class. Um, every now and then you get a, cl a class that comes in and just goes for broke right away. And this freshman class is absolutely outstanding. And our, our first year award members are Rachel Colley, Chloe Cirillo, Shane Cooper, Sierra Dages, Julia Dan, Amanda Della Giacoma, Sarah Filippowitz, Catherine Garcia, Anastasia Hamlin, Aaron Hennigan, Deanna Homer, Owen Kane, Jordan Keller, Mason Knight, Maxine Kuntz, Brenna Licardis, David Lytle, Victoria Mulligan, James Murray, Shane Nelson, Ethan Noss, Matt Novak, Emma Polglaze, Jack Riley, Tyler Rubenacher, Michael Schiara, George Stoft, Rachel Timmons, Ethan Tornow, Marin Uy, and Matthew Winkins. Those are our first year kids. We couldn't be more proud of you. You did such an outstanding job that uh, Mr. Gramada and I have just, just spent a lot of time over the year talking about what a great job you guys did. Congratulations and thanks. Our second year members are these, Maria Abelev, Noah Omari, Madison Babcock, Zach Bidwell, Mike Briganti, Tim Butcher, Emily Simbrick, Trevor Darnstadt, Josh DeGraff, Shane Duffy, Eileen Gass, Luke Gonzalez, Victoria Holm, Ryan Humble, Von Hurst, Amanda Jelanek, Gus Lindstrom, Lucas McDonald, Amber Minier, Valerie Murphy, Olivia O'Mahony, Kylie Perillo, Liliana Sanchez, and Corin Vaughn. Those are our second year folks, and you guys really did a great job this year of stepping up to a uh, greater sense of responsibility and greater contribution to the overall program. Our third year members are Allison Anderson, Jeremy Bryjack, Valerie Centron, Michaela Gazda, Colin Keller, Alyssa Kaiser, Raina Khan, Riley Knight, Melissa Lapointe, Haley Lindstrom, Aaron Lopez, Erica Martin, Jonathan Mulligan, Kasha Osuhovsky, Sean Partington, Leah Payne, Colin Petrich, Joe Pritchett, Max Rodas, Julia Schneider, Catherine Scott, John Setford, Christina Shaw, Kayla Sierra, Allison Stanich, Brian Salusha, Gabby Tavares, Aaron Timmons, Josh Wojcik, and Maggie Zhang, our third year members. We're really proud of you guys. You've done a tremendous job this year, and I can't wait to see as seniors, what you'll be ready to take on next year. 
Our fourth year members are, um, are, are the kids that have sort of the most ownership in the band. They've been here the longest. They've, they've weathered a lot of different aspects of the show and really contributed in a fantastic way this year. Here are our fourth year members. Yuri Anantasub, Nick Belcaro, Sarah Chimileski, Courtney Sienke, Riley Colton, Josh Dagnall, Cam DeLuca, Mario Esposito, Ricky Esposito, Sam Loritano, Ben McLaughlin, Andre Millen, Ryan Palamba, Marie Parkin, Nick Pluta, Brian Renna, Sean Rodriguez, Justin Shearing, Veronica Sheck, Ryan Starr, and Lancey Zhang. And we really appreciate you guys with all that you did to make our program successful. When you look at our leadership board, it's mostly these kids. Um, we do this year have, for the first time, we have two five-year members of kids who started with us with the marching band when they were in over at Maccabin. And our five-year members are Althea De Benedetto and Tiffany Anella. And we really appreciate you guys. Um, five years is a long time to be with a program like ours. And you really did a tremendous job this year. Um, we do have two seniors that wanted to speak, uh, and they're going to come up next. It's uh, one of our drum majors, Marie Parkin, and our band president, Brian Renna. Thank you so much, Dr. Mack. I, wanna, uh, I hope you guys can hear me. Um, I think so. Um, so I just wanted to take the time to first thank um, director, staff, students, and parents for making this reunion possible. Um, I'll go more into depth with, you know, thank yous later, but, you know, I just want to start off with, you know, a big thank you. I know recently because of current events, it has been hard getting by with all that we've lost this year. But like we've been saying, rather than focusing on the negative, we are all here tonight to celebrate the best of the Highlander band. Um, just something to realize with all that's going on, the things that we've accomplished this year cannot be taken away because the last few months were canceled. Um, as assistant drum major for the 2019 to 2020 marching band season, I first want to express great gratitude for being given the honor to not only perform, but also to lead such talented and unique individuals who share a common passion. Being a drum major has given me so many learning experiences, more than any other year I've spent here in the Highlander Band. Um, like some of you, I was not always so sure as to where this program would take me, but after sticking with it my first year, the second was sure to follow. It was just such a wonderful experience, um, which eventually led to the third year, which through a blur led to year four. I watched, learned, and grew emotionally with my leaders, my underclassmen, and those graduating with me. It truly has been quite the ride. Um, I'm not going to say that growing up in this program has always been easy. Um, the Highlander Band experience is one of the hardest any dedicated individual will go through. Um, and I can guarantee that this is where most of your life lessons are learned. You learn how to be resilient, courageous, and honest individuals. You also learn how to accept your mistakes and learn from them. And trust me, like our seniors and directors know, you make many, many mistakes. However, you also receive so much reward like the reward of friendship, talent, and memories. Our experience is more than learning visuals, playing music, and learning an eight to five step. It's learning how to become productive and kind individuals in this ever so changing world. Um, I also want to express gratitude to the Highlander Band parents. Without you, nothing we do is possible. Your presence at our football games, competitions, rehearsals, and other events truly show the band the dedication you have to such a wonderful organization we all so dearly care about. The parent group in this band is unlike any other parent group I've seen. You are all hard workers. You are humble, you are generous, and I want to, know, I want to thank you not only for helping create the organization we all know and love, but for raising such wonderful peers I've had the honor of performing alongside. Directors and staff, I will never have the words to express my gratitude for all you've given this band. Dr. Mack, Mr. Gramada, Mr. Monticelli, Mr. Leitner, Mr. and Mrs. Smolinski, Mr. Shaver, Mr. Barino, and everyone involved with training and teaching our ensembles. Thank you for defining what a true educator is. Your patience, persistence, and leadership with these students is something that I hope has inspired our Highlanders this year and years to follow. 
I know it has inspired me as a future music educator. Lastly, I want to thank a crucial part of our band, the students who created. Seniors, it has been a pleasure growing up with all of you these past four years. Regardless of the paths we take in our future, we will always be connected in some way by the lessons learned and the memories made in this band. To the underclassmen, I want to say that it has been an honor watching you all grow this past season. I really want to encourage you to continue the tradition of excellence in your future. I challenge you to make goals for the rest of your time as a Highlander band member. Try out for that ensemble, interview for that leadership position, participate in that fundraiser, because you never know how much time you have left to learn. Take advantage of your opportunities, work hard and lead your peers, not only in this program, but in and out of the school. I am so excited to see how much this organization grows in this future. My eyes, your eyes, always with pride. Now, um, I'm done speaking now, so I want to introduce um, someone who has, you know, been on the ball since day one, um, you know, ever since, you know, making these, you know, little name tags for Rookie Day. Um, I want to introduce uh, our band president, Mr. Brian Renna. Thank you, Marie. First off, I would like to say thank you to the amazing directors who have given me the opportunity to talk about how amazing the members of the Highlander Band are. For some of you I've met just this year, maybe two years ago, three years ago, or we have been through thick and thin with the Highlander Marching Band since freshman year. The Highlander Band prides itself on bringing in new members each year that build up the great team we have created. Each year, the upperclassmen adopt the freshman class, not to just a team, but to a family, a closely connected group of friends that supports each other physically and mentally. The group, this group grows and shrinks every year with a few, with a new flow of members, but never weakens because every year there are people who step into the empty leadership positions. And that is another thing that the Highlander Band prides itself upon. Opportunity is something that a parent always wants to give their kid. And it is through the Highlander Band that the members of, are encouraged to explore the world of performing arts. The Highlander Band has given its members the opportunity to perform in a variety of different ways between the many different competitions, outdoors and indoors, the annual tattoo, jazz concerts, tag day, parades, and the annual winter and spring concerts. It is through these performances that the members of the Highlander Band learn how hard work pays off. The opportunity of having countless numbers of rehearsals and a supportive, hardworking team is a gift that not many groups have and the Highlander Band is grateful for. The directors are what contribute greatly to the Highlander Band's tradition of excellence and success. The directors are ingra have ingrained in our heads that the definition of success is something different for everyone. Success doesn't, doesn't always mean to win, but it means playing, marching, performing at, one, at your 100% best. As part of the Highlander Band, you are, not an, an, you're, you are not an individual. You are part of a team that works together in harmony unless the sheet music says to play in dissonance, then you should probably do that. The musicians of the Highlander Band have learned greatly from the directors, not just how to play their instrument, how to march or how to dance, but also how to take a positive perspective on life and learn a multitude of life skills. One that is most prominent is the understanding of leadership and what it takes to make a strong leader. The directors have trust in their students to take charge when appropriate and help their peers when they are struggling. Peer leadership is what makes the Highlander Band strong and, it, and is what continues the tradition of excellence. One thing that I ask is for my fellow seniors to take the, the life skills you have learned throughout your time with the Highlander Band, long or short, and take hold of it and carry those skills to wherever you go after high school. You never know when you're going to need them. I would like to thank the directors for having trust in me to be band president. And I would like to thank my peers who are here and who are not for having trust in me to represent them. I am sure that I am with the seniors when we say good luck to the underclassmen, next year's section leaders, drum majors, pipe major, and band president. Your futures are clearly bright. Let this night be a celebration of you, members of the Highlander Band, and what you have accomplished throughout your time with, the, with this amazing group. On behalf of the Highlander Band seniors, class, class of 2020, we would like to thank the directors
for all that they have done for all of us all these years with this gift, a gift that will continue the tradition of excellence for many years to come. Now, if this was a real, in real life person, uh, in person thing, I would hand them, the directors, the gift. Um, I can't do that because we are not in person, but I will tell you that uh, together, collectively, the seniors have contributed to buy the directors a new Dr. Beat metronome. This gift will keep everyone's feet in time and make sure everyone is together, just like how together we are one big family. And I would like to thank everyone here tonight and those who are not for making such an amazing four years and for making such an important group to this school. Well done, thank you kids. Thanks for being a part of this. I'd like to turn the, uh, the uh, spotlight over to uh, Mrs. Stacy Schneider, who is going to announce the senior scholarships. Thank you, Dr. Mack. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Stacy Schneider. I'm this year's scholarship uh, committee chairperson, and I'm excited to be a part of this event tonight and to be able to present the scholarship awards this evening. Um, each year, the West Milford uh, Band Parents Association um, awards a limited number of scholarships to deserving members of the Highlander Marching Band. And scholarship committee carefully reviews all applications and essays and makes their selections according to established criteria. Now, to qualify uh, for consideration for the band parent scholarship, students must be in good standing and meet two requirements. Uh, the first being participation in the Highlander Marching Band for four years. And the second is they must be applying to an institution of higher learning, including a two or four year college or trade school. And students also have the opportunity to be selected not only for the band parent scholarship, but also for the band director scholarship. And in addition to meeting the guidelines that were just mentioned, these students must also be planning on majoring in music um, at an accredited four-year college or university, um, have a strong history of band participation and musical performance, have demonstrated musical achievement and competence on their instrument, uh, provided their service to the organization, actions above and beyond the norm, uh, demonstrated attributes and caring for others, and shown by example, a sincere attempt to exemplify the guiding principles of the Highlander Band. And as part of the application process, uh, we asked students to compose an essay addressing what the Highlander um, Band experience has meant to them. And I'll be reading a brief passage uh, from each recipient's essay before announcing their name uh, to share their sentiments with everyone tonight. Um, and the first scholarship we would like to award this evening is for the Band Director Scholarship. Okay, so here goes. Of all these memories, the one that stands out the most to me is my last national championship performance. It felt like all four years had led right up to that moment for me. I had goosebumps from start to finish, and my heart was beating out of my chest with excitement. When we reached the end of the show, I whipped myself around and gave the snappiest and proudest salute I've ever given. In that salute, I said, this is my family, and I couldn't be prouder of what they just did on this field. I grabbed my helmet and started to climb off the podium. And there waiting for me at the bottom, with teary eyes and a smile I'll never forget, was my dad. The man that had raised me and been a role model to me from my first moment. He gave me the biggest and warmest hug I've ever gotten and said in an emotional voice, I'm so proud of you. To this day, that is one of the greatest things anyone has ever said to me. So congratulations, Ben McLaughlin, this year's recipient of our Band Director Scholarship. Okay, and I would now like to um, announce the Band Parent Scholarship recipients, and there are seven of these. Um, okay, so the first, not only did the Highlander Band teach me how universally powerful music is, but also the values of lifelong friendships. It is a place where I feel accepted, where I feel like I belong, where I feel like a part of something greater than myself. It is the place where I can be myself, where I receive re realistic recognition, where I receive constructive criticism. It is the place that inspires me to make others feel accepted, to keep learning, to inspire others. 
The Highlander Band is more than a place, a group, an organization. The Highlander Band is home. Congratulations to Yuri and Natasub. Okay. Um, the next, being a part of the Highlander Band isn't an experience, it's an adventure. I was lucky enough to learn that I can push past my limits. I even gained a new best friend and I learned that I am meant to teach. I have many fond memories such as accidentally throwing my symbol freshman year at indoor championships, breaking my ankle sophomore year at nationals and continuing to march the show, walking across the field with my family on senior night and getting to go on my last bus ride singing music with my best friends. As I set forth on my next adventure, I take with me the will to prepare to win. Congratulations to Sarah Chimleski. Okay. The next, um, being in the band has taught me so many life lessons that I will hold with me forever. These life lessons are lead by example. With anything you do in life, people are going to follow what you do, especially if you are someone of authority. Treat everyone you meet with respect. No matter how someone treats you, you have to treat them better. Speak well of others. Bringing people down is not a good thing to do. It gives people a different image of you, and it could be one that you don't want. And be able to laugh. Well, I can officially say my climb as a Highlander band member is over. I've made it to the top, and now it is time for me to make my descent back down the mountain and start a new mountain. I have been truly blessed to be a part of this program. Congratulations, Courtney Sienke. The Highlander Band has shaped me into the person I wanted to be, and everyone has really treated me wonderfully and has helped me become a better person. I hope to help all the future band members and treat them the great way my peers treated me. My peer Jack, a freshman, looked up to me this year for his mentor to teach how to play tenors. I've always loved teaching the people in grades below me and give them the lessons I have learned. I hope to pursue teaching music and I'm hoping to help other bands in the future along with the Highlander Band. Congratulations, Sam Loritano. Okay. The Highlander Band will always be a part of me in the sense that I had found my place. I learned what it meant to be happy, to love myself, to be a good person, and to find peace in giving to others. It taught me to put myself back together many times, as well as learning how to put other people back together as well. It taught me how to differentiate leading and dictating. It has taught me life lessons about honesty, integrity, humility, and respect, all through experiences I now have the ability to share with others. It taught me about conflict and how to resolve it properly. It taught me how to help other help people be together and not the same. It has led me to a future path I've never thought of pursuing, and the program has helped me step by step in becoming the person that I am today. Congratulations, Marie Parkin. I had good times and bad times with the Highlander Band. Sometimes I will look back on and smile, and others I will look back on and cringe or shake my head in regret. But the Highlander Band and the experiences it gave me did one of the most important things anyone could ask for. It helped bring me through the worst experience of my life and gave me the ability to try to look at the bright side of things. Being involved in the Highlander Band program has been such a wonderful experience. I didn't realize that when it was happening, but I wish I had. If given the opportunity to do it all over again, I would do it in a heartbeat with no questions asked. Congratulations, Sean Rodriguez. Okay, and last but not least, um, although the band taught me responsibility and determination are key to success, it also taught me to make mistakes. I messed up at competitions. I came in at the wrong parts almost all the time during rehearsals. Sorry, not sorry, Mr. Monticelli. But I think the lesson I hold dearest to my heart is that making mistakes is okay. It's human. People these days, including myself, 
have been so obsessed with perfection and never messing up that it becomes unhealthy. But the band taught me that you have to trip on your feet a few times before you can walk. Congratulations, Veronica Sheck. Congratulations to all of our scholarship recipients um, and to all of the seniors. We wish you continued success on the adventures that lie ahead. Um, and with that, I'll turn it over to Dr. McLaughlin and Mr. Gramada for the band awards. Thanks for a lot, Mr. Schneider. Really appreciate that. Although we consider each of our students to be unique and talented and of high character, there are a few who have worked harder to stand out among their peers and we'd like to recognize them. We had 11 students this year who won spots in the North Jersey area band. Those students are Zach Bidwell, Sophie Pilar, Christina Shaw, Yuri Anantasub, Shane Duffy, Olivia Omahani, Maria Abelev, Aaron Lopez, Sean Partington, Catherine Garcia, and Ben McLaughlin. All won places in the North Jersey area band. The next level up in, uh, in difficulty for these honor bands is the all region band. And we had four students who won spots there. Aaron Lopez, Marie Parkin, Catherine Garcia, and Ben McLaughlin, all members of the All Region Band. In addition, the last level of, available in our state of New Jersey is the All State Band, and we did have one student make it there again. Uh, I say again because he was there last year and this year, and for two years won the top spot um, on his instrument in the entire state, and our All State Band member was Ben McLaughlin. Congratulations to all of you that earned spots in the various honor bands uh, of our state. Congratulations. I'm gonna ask Mr. Gramada to take the lead here as we get into the marching band awards that are based on your performance and uh, achievements as we've gone through this year's uh, program and season. The first uh, awards that we're going to do are the most improved. And we started this, I would say maybe two years ago where we chose one student from each class um, to represent the most improved student, whether that was throughout the year or from the previous year to this year. So to start, we're going to start with freshmen. And so we have nothing to base off of the freshmen going in besides what you know, Mr. Paccioni and Ms. McPartland tell us. And from the first day of rookie camp to the end of the season, there have been so many students that have really, really improved. But one stands out to us, and I think this is a, uh, a 100% choice from all the staff, and the most improved freshman is going to be George Stoft. Moving on to the sophomores, I would say this student is, has probably done the most growing from freshman year to sophomore year, whether that would have been a change in mentality or an increase in drive. Um, the student is really establishing themselves as a real um, force to reckon with in terms of not just on their instrument, which is actually multiple instruments, but also on the field and as a leader. And our most improved sophomore this year is Madison Babcock. For the juniors, uh, again, this is another student and you know I can talk about marching band because this person is probably one of the best, uh, best players and marchers on the field. But again, you know, if we think about this full circle, uh, probably have done the most growth in terms of their uh, playing on their instrument and, you know, being in some of these top ensembles and making some of these top ensembles for next year uh, is definitely something that uh, she has achieved and will continue to achieve. And our most improved junior is Miss Erica Martin. And finally, for our most improved senior, I think, you know, the entire staff looked at the four years of growth and not just going from junior year to senior year, even though the amount of leadership growth in the student is immense. Um, throughout their four years, the student has not only, you know, been the backbone behind a certain section um, as a player, but also as a leader. And especially this year really took this group to the next level. Um, our most improved senior is going to Mr. Sam Loritano. I'll turn it back over to Dr. Mack for some more of the marching awards. All right. Thank you, Mr. Gramada. Um, our most spirited award is given to a student that not only has a high level of stoke for themselves that, you know, they're always ready to go, but this person really distinguished themselves because of the, the inspiration they gave to those around them. Um, it didn't matter what the temperature or the tired level was, 
This student was on the ball, getting herself ready to go and everybody around her ready to go. This year's most spirited award goes to Tiffany Anella. Congratulations, Tiffany. Our best marcher award uh, was, uh, as Mr. Leitner said earlier, a no brainer. This was somebody that was a unanimous choice from the, the whole staff. It was a joy to watch this person march their drill every, every time. Just such a great uh, level of execution. This year's best marcher is Erica Martin. Congratulations, Erica. We had to split the Outstanding Freshman Award because we have uh, two individuals that really have distinguished themselves already among the very best players in our whole program. Um, and that's, a, that's a, a difficult thing to do when you come into a group that's as highly achieving as ours is to come in in your first year and really make your mark that way. And it, was with, it is with great pride that we give our Outstanding Freshman Awards to Jordan Keller and Catherine Garcia. Congratulations, girls. We expect great things from you. This year's best section is a section that, although smaller, sometimes by a factor of 10 to some of the other sections that they would compete against in other bands, continue to power it through and, and hit such a high level of expertise that they even won their division at national championships. This year's best section is the color guard. Many of our band students are among the highest ranking students in their class. And uh, that's certainly true of our band scholar this year. Uh, that's right up at the top of their class. Um, this year's band scholar is Sophie Pilar. We give out a series of awards called the Director's Awards for those students that have contributed to the program outside of anything that Mr. Grimaud and I asked them formally to do. It was not part of their responsibilities. And I'm going to let Mr. Grimaud tell you about these individuals and their contribution to our program. In addition, the Director's Awards are also service awards um, in terms of service to the program, service to the ensembles as a whole, and also their achievement as musicians to those ensembles. The first student, we have four of these awards and they don't have to all be seniors. Um, so we have a variety, but the first student is in terms of the ensembles that they play in at the top of their game in the wind ensemble. This is a principal player in the marching band. This is a section, uh, has someone who has switched instruments and contributed in two different sections. Um, also a, a large impact in indoor percussion. And this year involved in the jazz ensemble. And for me personally, uh, it's been a pleasure to see this person be a part of the pit orchestra um, under my baton and also under Dr. McLaughlin's baton, but also someone that goes over to Macapin and helps tutor some of the younger middle school students. So our first director award will go to Miss Sarah Chimileski. Our second award is someone who I personally enjoy being around. Um, I can't get rid of this person. Um, I, I feel like I see them four periods of the day at least. Um, but in terms of someone who will always go above and beyond to help the two of us out, um, to be a liaison between us and the Band Parent Association, um, and even uh, to, first off to, to bring intense energy to the program that she's involved in, um, I will say, Color Guard, congratulations, but Alto Saxes, you probably could have won this award likely because of the leadership from this individual. Um, our next award goes to Ms. Courtney Sienke. Our third director's award is someone who contributes immensely to every single ensemble that we have. Um, not just brings his leadership, but brings his you know, superb musicianship to every ensemble, the jazz ensemble, the marching band, the indoor percussion group. Um, and again, this person is only a sophomore. So we'll have this person for the next two years. Um, congratulations to Mr. Shane Duffy. And finally, you know, the director's awards, we all meet together to determine people who have made such an impact on their programs. Um, this person, you know, with the collective of the two of us, 
uh, Mr. Monticelli and Mr. Leitner um, really has stood out this year, uh, especially um, not just in marching band and indoor percussion, but also in the wooden ensemble, um, really propelling himself from someone who teetered on the point of not doing band to now one of the best percussionists that we have in the school. Um, so the final award will go to Mr. Ryan Humble. Congratulations, Sarah, Courtney, Shane, and Ryan. This is such well-deserved for you. I couldn't agree more. Um, we have two more awards to give out tonight before we get into some other things. Um, and the first of those is the John Philip Sousa Award. This is a national band award. And there are criterion that um, demand that the student be able to perform as a soloist, that they are the, the lead player in their section, that they um, contribute to the life uh, of the, the excellence of musicality of their ensembles. And this year's John Philip Sousa Awards will go to Ben McLaughlin and Marie Parkin. Congratulations, guys. Uh, the last award uh, of the evening is the Outstanding Senior Award. And this is somebody that their contribution to, uh, to our program has just been fantastic. We put an enormous amount of weight on this person, whether it was being a uh, soloist on the field or, or with the jazz band or with the wind ensemble, holding down um, a, just enormous weight that we put on this individual. And they came through every time with shining colors and really pulled the rest of the group with them. So with great pride that I announced this year's Outstanding Senior Award goes to Ben McLaughlin. Congrats, Ben. Congrats, yeah. Could not be more proud. Now, I'd like to, to hand the spotlight over to uh, the Smolenskis once more. And we're going to tell you the leadership for next year's ensembles. And so if you've been... Uh, hoping for a leadership position. Now it's when you're going to find out about it. And we're even going to show you a bit about next year's show and uh, what the title is and even let you hear the first movement of it. Um, so, Smolenskis, it's all yours. Thanks, Doc. Uh, we are proud to introduce our new pipe band officers for the 2020-2021 season. Pipe Corporal Madison Babcock, Pipe Sergeant Kasha Oshahovsky, and Pipe Major Aaron Timmons. Congratulations to our new officers. <laughs> and next up is Guard Staff to introduce the new Color Guard leadership. Okay, this year I'm really proud to announce the two captains for next year are Michaela Gazda and Kayla Sierra. We wish them all the best. Um, next year's uh, percussion section leaders will be uh, for the drum line, uh, Miss Gabrielle Tavares and Mr. Sean Partington. And in the front ensemble, uh, we will have the three headed dragon of Miss Riley Knight, Mr. Ryan Humble, and Miss Kasha Oshahovsky. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to go through the band and winds leadership. And so we'll go down by section. For flutes, we have uh, Amanda Jelanik, Maggie Zhang, and Liliana Sanchez, who will be lead. Clarinet section leaders for marching band will be Jonathan Mulligan and Madison Babcock. For alto saxophone, Tim Butcher, Colin Keller, and Julia Schneider, who will be the lead. For tenor saxophone, Miss Catherine Scutt. Trumpets, Valerie Cintron, Erica Martin, and Aaron Timmons, who will be lead. For horn, Mr. Jeremy Brijack and Amber Menier, who will be lead. For trombones, Mr. Shane Duffy and John Setford. For baritone, Catherine Garcia, Corin Vaughn. For tuba, Joseph Pritchett. Congratulations to all you guys, and we're looking forward to a great year next year. Our drum majors next year. Head drum major will be Allison Stanich and assistant will be Melissa LaPointe. Congratulations to all of our leaders. Thank you and congratulations. Now kids on the, the eighth 
of June from nine till noon, we will be over at the school and we're going to set up over farther to the left of the auditorium doors over by that, um, that garden that's over there. And you can stop by to get the awards you would have been able to pick up in person if we would have been able to do that. So we'll have, have the blankets for you and the plaques and, and such to pick up then. Um, we will elect band president at the start of next year. And uh, um, so far it's looking good uh, for band camp. Uh, we've gotten word from the governor that non-contact sports are, are able to start meeting. And uh, when it comes to keeping your spacing and not touching your face, band kids rock. Nobody can be better than us at that sort of thing. And uh, we do our best for it to be non-contact sport, don't we? I, I can only give you this in these very unusual times that uh, seniors, I'm sorry that we weren't able to blow the roof off with uh, sailors and whales. I was really looking forward to that this year. And as you guys leave here, I'd, I'd like you to do two things for me. One is to go to the band website, wmhollanderband.com, and look at the guiding principles. Write them down if you need to. Print them out. Something so they're before your eyes. These are, I don't think it's that these qualities are more important in these days. I think it might be that they are in shorter supply than they have been. And that's how you give back to us. That's the next piece of this, is that you go out there and make a difference. That's that's the whole point of, of what we do here with you, is to train you into becoming people who can go out there and make a difference in the world. So this is your chance to do that. So your new slogan, besides the will, will, will to win is nothing compared to the will to prepare to win, that'll never change. But I've got a new one for you, for, for our senior class. And your new slogan is go mad. M-A-D, make a difference. Get out there and make a difference in the lives of the people that you meet. Show them what it's like to be a person of, of integrity and to take the kind of things you learned with us out to the broader world. We could not be more proud of you. We're all disappointed that we can't be with you. I know the, the banquet was always a fun time for us to see how gussied up you look after we look at you as sweaty marching band members for most of the year. And uh, we miss seeing you. That's that's just the pure truth of it is we miss seeing you guys. I know it's, I speak for all of us because we've we've all spoken to each other about this. Thank you, band staff. Uh, would not want to try this without any of you guys. And uh, we are excited to be back at full strength. But before we go, I do want to give you a hint on next year. Mr. Monticelli has put together uh, a sound recording of our first uh, first drill. And at the end of it, it shows you the name of the show. And so Mr. Monticelli, take it away. That's a long delay. Sound? Not getting the audio. We're going to try that again. Sorry. Oh, boy. Take two.
So that's next year's show. It's called Bushido, which is the code of the Japanese warrior. And uh, we're off to a big start. We will be um, getting instruments uh, into your hands also on the 8th with uh, uh, marching instruments and that sort of stuff. Um, so we look forward to seeing you guys and getting together in person as soon as we possibly can. Thank you for sharing this evening with us. Thank you to all the staff members. Kind of feel like I'm part of the Brady Bunch here. Hi, Mr. Shaver. <laughs> and uh, yeah, where's Alice? <laughs> um, thank you for being a part of this. Uh, we love all of you and good night. <laughs>